Hi, everybody. My name is Kristen Shaker. I'm on the C++ Core Libraries team <laughs> at Google, and today I'm going to talk to you about the Clang AST, the abstract syntax tree. So disclaimer, Jonathan probably knows a lot more about uh, parsing and lexing than I do, but I'm going to give it a go anyway. So at a super high level, the parser is a very important part of compilation. It takes all of the tokens that are generated by the lexer, and it validates that those tokens, when taken together, represent correct C++ code. Uh, and in the pursuit of that, it produces this abstract syntax tree, which is this, uh, basically your code in, in a tree structure. And that tree ends up being the input to the Clang front end, and that front end uh, outputs IR, and that IR ends up going to LLVM. Uh, and so we end up in the, you know, within this process with this very information-rich data structure, and the question becomes, how can we leverage that data structure to do really interesting static analysis on our code to make it better? And one of the ways that we do it uh, is through Clang AST matchers. And so I have this uh, Compiler Explorer. If you haven't seen Compiler Explorer before, welcome to the beginning of the rest of your life. Um, we use this thing all the time. It, it, it's how I do my job. Uh, so we have some code up here. Um, there's two classes and, you know, a main function. And class A has, has three functions, two of which are overloads. My member function, uh, one takes a parameter, one doesn't. Uh, some other function that's not an overload. And class B has a member function that has the same name as the two member functions in class A. And then, you know, we call, we call those member functions in our, in our main. Um, so when we do large scale refactorings, we have to propagate those refactorings on a Google wide scale. So we have to do stuff in an automated fashion. And we, and we use these matchers to do that. So, uh, to get, to get to what I'm going to show you, you add a new compiler. Um, and we're going to want to see everything at once. And we're going to want to be in Clang because we're using Clang. I'm going to use x86. We're going to look at the AST output. I'm going to move some stuff around so you can see this all. So here's your AST. And this is all of your code represented as a tree. Um, so when I move over, you can see like stuff getting highlighted. Here's a var variable declaration, a decal statement, et cetera, et cetera. Um, so when I go back to, where's the, sorry, this is not my computer, so I'm a little bit. Uh, a little bit out of my element here. So when I go back to the compiler, I can add a tool, uh, plain query. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. So I want to make sure that I can show you all the interesting stuff. Where's the tab? Sorry. So we're going to move this over so that we can look at the matching as we go through things. So you go over here again. Um, OK. So. I really want to show you the AST at the same time, but it's not, it's not letting me. Uh, okay, anyway, so I'm going to show you how you can, like, match one specific function. So you start really, really broad. Uh, so we're going to do CXX. Sorry, this is also not my computer. <laughs> oh, my God, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how shift works, apparently. Um, Okay, so you can see that we've matched literally all four member function calls. Uh, but we really want to only match on, on things of type A, right? We want to match, say, just this function, right? We want to specifically fix, find that one. So we can specify. So we can say has. We can say, sorry. We're operating on something that has a type. This is really, yeah, I should have, I should have known better. Never do a live demo on somebody else's computer. Um, that is a CXX record decal. Right, okay. So here we're matching on everything that is, this is the same, has, yeah, sorry. One minute, it's, it's really hard to type. Uh, has name A. Okay, so now we're going to be matching on just the member functions of A, right? But we're still matching on three functions. So you can add more specifiers. So you can say uh, the callee, so the thing that we're calling, um, is a member decal, method decal, that has a name. And then we can say my member func. OK. Do close those parentheses, fix the typo. Okay, so now we're only matching on these these specific functions, and I'm going to get there. I swear, I swear, I promise. And now we can specify even further and say that the argument count is 
one. And we found the exact function that we were looking to match. And you can use this in conjunction with playing tidy to actually produce edits on like very specific snippets of your code base. Um, anyway, thank you. Sorry for the, uh, sorry for the typo.